guys, welcome back to the Tried Truth. It's Mike here with another Jacoji Fine Jewelry review. And hopefully you guys were aware that uh, it was just uh, Jacoji Day. It's a celebration once a year um, where you can take advantage of site-wide 10% discount um, and some um, festive boxes, um, you know. So I was feeling a little naked and needed a new chain, a little bling. Um, so, hey, I, I couldn't help myself. So this is a chain that I've been wanting for quite a while, and uh, we'll get right to it here. No sense in taking all day. Um, anyway, I had, uh, well, I, I had recently bought the 4 millimeter 18 karat rope, and uh, I love it, but I really wanted a 5 millimeter. You know, I used to have a six. I have a six and a half millimeter. But uh, anyway, hopefully I got the Jacoji, um, the J Jacoji Day box. You know, that's what I'm really hoping for. If I did, then it should be lime green. And it looks like it is. So cool, man. Um, wow, that's a beauty. Lime green with, uh, with black. You know, this is really cool. Kind of um, like a... St. Patrick's Day vibe to it, but uh, anyway, let's check it out. So uh, here we go. You know the, the the deal. You know the boxes are really nicely made. They're like a little jewelry drawer. So you slide that bad boy open, and inside you get a presentation like this. So you you know you get your authenticity card, even written with green ink. I mean, what a touch. Um, so this, let's see what we have here. Uh, it's the rope, five millimeter. Uh, 22 inch, uh, 49.5 grams, 18 carat, and packed by, I tell you what, they, they've got a new employee. I, I could swear it says Cora, Cor, Carol or Coral, I don't know. Anyway, hopefully you can see that, guys. It's very hard to see with that uh, ink. But anyway, uh, black pouch. And let's see what kind of sticker we got today. Looks like a green sticker, too, to go with it. So that's cool. All right. Um, you know, I'm not expecting a gigantic chain here. But uh, here it is. 18 karat um, Jacoji 5 millimeter rope. And um, I'm really happy with the size of it. The weight is just awesome. 50 basically 50 grams here but um, I, you know the four millimeter excellent chain really nothing wrong with it but uh, I wanted more weight um, not just that I wanted a little bit more size this is a very classy chain right here and what I mean is it, it's a it, it makes a statement but not a, a really loud statement so like you know for a more mature person I think this right here is where it's at um, I thought about um, just getting a four millimeter, 22 inch, 18 karat rope. Uh, and I just messed around with the idea for a while. I knew I wanted to get something for Jacoji Day, but um, I'm glad I went with this, guys. I really am. This is just beautiful chain. You know, I, I get a lot of comments that I never hold the chain still so that you guys can get a good look at it. But, uh, you know, there it is. Uh, lobster clasp. It's a very large lobster clasp. Um, the four millimeter had a had a you know a pretty well proportioned lobster clasp, but uh, this one is a little bit larger than the chain, and I, I don't mind it. I like it. I want the security anyway. But man, I if, you know th this this has got a really nice weight to it. At, at the end of this phase of the video, I'll go ahead and weigh it. I'll uh, I'll measure it. I'll even put it next to like a pencil so you guys can get an idea of what it you know looks like. Um, and I'll even count out change that is equal to the same amount of weight so that uh, if somebody's interested, they can put that amount of change in their hand and get an idea of you know what it feels like. But wow, what a beautiful color. I mean, look at this thing just sparkle. Wow. It really it really is a nice chain guys, I'm telling you. Um, if you haven't dealt with Jacoji before, 
uh, then you've been sleeping. I'm telling you right now. He sells his jewelry, you know, his gold, his chains by the gram. I mean, if he creates a piece for you like a ring or a pendant, well, that's different because there's a whole lot more involved in that. But uh, let's see what the 5 millimeter, 22 inch chain looks like on the neck. Oh, wow. This lobster clasp is very strong. Got a nice spring in it. So there it is. Wow, I don't feel naked anymore. Here we go. So there it is. Um, you guys will look at that. But yeah, definitely a nice, nice piece. Like I said, you know, it's not over the top. It's a really comfortable chain. You know, I was tossing around the idea of this and the 5 millimeter 18 karat Miami Cuban. And uh, also 22 inch. So um, I definitely took advantage of Jacoji Day and I bought that too. So that'll be here tomorrow. Anyway, um, and then I'll compare these two. Just to let you guys see. I, I'm pretty sure that the 18 karat on the Miami Cuban is going to be a lot um, darker, whatever, you know. We, you know, if you've watched any of the Shikoji videos, you already know about the lobes. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of difference in the color from 14 to the 18 karat. 58.5%, uh, actually 58.3%, whatever, but uh, they call it 585. Um, but then, you know, the 18 karat is 75% clean. So, you know, you definitely get more gold. But for some reason with the Peruvian ropes, it, it doesn't show up so well. Man, this is just great. You know, one thing I can tell you about the, the, the 5mm rope and the 4, because uh, I, I like the look of the 4. The smaller you go with a rope, the more grouping you get, more twists per, per inch. Let's just say that. Um, and if you go even smaller, you could break it down even further. But like uh, my 6.5mm, you know, you might have, in an inch, you might have 2.5 twists. But with the five millimeter, you get more twists per square, per length, linear inch, which gives you a lot more diamond cuts and a lot more bling. Um, so one thing I can tell you about the five millimeter is it's, it's definitely going to have a lot of bling to it. And it's, it's a substantial enough size. And this is, um, about five feet away from the camera, you know, um, which which is cool now don't get me wrong it's not a giant chain and that's the reason i bought it um sometimes in certain settings i don't want a giant chain but as a a chain wearer it is more than um something i like to do it is an absolute way of life after now uh after years of wearing chains uh, you know even growing up I didn't have anything like this. I mean, but I always wore some sort of necklace. If I could get my hands on a silver, I'd even wear stainless steel. It didn't matter. As long as I liked what I was wearing, I was comfortable with it. But it just, you you get this chain around your neck, and after a while, you cannot live without it. You know, you're reaching for it. Um, it's almost like a stress stress ball. You, you got your hands on it, and you never even realize you're doing it. Um, kind of like... I don't know, I know how, you know, me as a guy, I'm always feeling for my wallet, and I don't even realize I'm doing it, but that wallet can never get away from me, because my, I'm trained on it, just like the necklace, I'm, I'm trained on that, and it's, uh, I've done it to myself, but man, this thing's got a nice amount of weight, and it's got a really nice, it, it swells out on its own, you know, like when you lean forward, it dips, it dips down, but when you, as soon as you come back, you know, stand up straight, it just swells back out. Um, you know, there's like almost 10, I don't know, not even 10, I think about 7 grams difference in the um, in the 14 carat and the 18 carat. If I'm not mistaken, I think, I, you know, I really don't know. Well, 14 carat, I think, is around 40 grams. And then with this, you get basically about 10 grams more. I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't remember. But uh, I, I've been wanting to up my game with my chains. I've been wanting to go with, you know, more um, 18 karat. Uh, I do want to get a, you know, a um, 
22 carat chain. I thought about that quite a bit. And uh, eventually I might do that. I don't know. Maybe a three a three millimeter Franco 20, 22 carat. But at, at the same time, I, I don't know. I like 18. And not only that, sinking that much money in such a small chain, you're, you're really not getting a lot of size. And I, I you know... My three three millimeter Jacoji link, it's it's not something I would like to wear solo. It's a great pendant chain, and that's about it for me, you know. Uh, so I I like the five millimeter range, so I don't think I'm gonna go lower than five millimeter. But I like it a lot, you know. And uh, I'm also keeping my eye on that four millimeter Byzantine, and I'm also looking at the three millimeter Byzantine because um, I. I might end up getting that. Um, there's a video, I think Luke Zion or a different silver guy put this video out of a three millimeter Byzantine next to a five millimeter rope and they look exactly the same size. So that's food for thought, you know. Anyway, uh, Jacoji Day uh, is still going. It's going to go one more day. So if you act today, you can get 10% off. Um, on anything on his site and um, you'll get you know you'll get the Jacoji Day boxes which is really cool um, I like it so anyway if you're into that sort of thing but uh, yeah super fast shipping um, I I ordered it you know um, over the weekend so I got it today it's Wednesday um, now the Miami Cuban I ordered Monday no no, not Monday. Yeah, actually, I did. Monday night, I ordered it. And um, it's already been shipped. And uh, it's actually in Indiana right now. I live in Michigan. So, um, you know, I'm following the tracking on that. So that will be here tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to rest for a while and think about which Byzantine I'm going to get. If I just want to go out with that uh, four millimeter. But I, I'm thinking the rope, a Cuban, and a Byzantine those are like my favorite chains and to be honest with you as much as I like the Byzantine rope is always my all-time favorite and the Miami Cuban you know uh, I used to have a five and a half millimeter baby curb and um, I don't know I, I can't explain it once I got it in my hand it just wasn't for me but the five millimeter Miami Cuban I know it's small uh, I, I was interested in the box lock it's the first time I've ever had a Miami Cuban in my life. So I'm excited to get it. I know it's going to be small. You know, um, it, it'll probably look at least like this, maybe a little bigger because ropes after the diamond cut them, they, you know, they're a little smaller. But at the same time, you know, with ropes, they, you know, they're chunky looking because they're round. So anyway, we'll see. And, um, but the fact that it's 18 karat, even though it's small, I, I think I'll still like it. So. But yeah, this is, like I said, it's the 5mm 22-inch rope. Um, it's got a real classy look. If I don't put it in the shirt and tuck it, somebody might say something. So anyway, yeah, that's that's clean, guys. I'm telling you, that that's definitely a clean look. Um, I like it. Man, I just woke up. My voice is cracking. Sorry. A little embarrassing for me. Whatever. A few more cups of coffee. I'll be good to go. But yeah, super. All right, guys, just uh, want to quickly measure the chain out. Uh, again, with Jacoji, uh, his ropes, um, one end here. Let's see what this stamp on this one is. Um, that is the 18 karat stamp there. Okay. And again, this is the 22 inch. And um, it's just slightly over the 22 inch mark. Not a lot. Probably... Two sixteenths over. Yeah. So that's cool. Um, also, just a size reference, there's a pencil. Pencils are generally about um, six millimeters, I think. So, I mean, there's that idea. Anyway, that 18 karat gold is. Nice. 
But that chain just gets a beautiful shine to it. I do have the lens magnified a little bit. Just want to show, you know, the texture on it. And then on this end, well, both sides have 18 karat on one side and then the Jacoji um, logo on the other. Everything's soldered. Um, I was noticing that um, the welds, the soldering is super thick on this one. Um, won't require any touch-ups from my local jeweler, I'll tell you that much. Just an excellent job on this chain. You know, everything's precise. You know, I've had ropes in the past where there was a little gap on one side or the other with the soldering. And just for peace of mind, because I'll work in my jewelry sometimes, I'll, I'll you know, I'll get a, sometimes a 10 20 or $30 spot weld on it, you know, because I want it, I want it soldered, you know, on each side of both ends, so... And then down here, the same thing. This thing is just done really well. Hold on a minute. Let's see. Here we go. Jacoji chains, you don't have to worry about it. And, you know, even though I've gotten those soldering touch-ups, didn't really need it. It was just, you know, I want everything overkill. So, anyway. Also, um, let's see. I was going to weigh it for you guys just to show you real quick. Um, let me trim this down a little. Um, so, what we have here is it says on the card 49.3. And um, we got 49. That's good enough for me. Um, so, I think we have 8 quarters and 1 nickel. So, let's just see. So that's 50 grams, that's close as I could get. So eight quarters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one nickel. So that's the heft of it. That's what it feels like in the hand. So um, there it is, guys, I'm telling you, it's a beauty. Um, it definitely is a beautiful chain. I'm very happy with it. Five millimeters. You know, I don't have a mic. But I can assure you of this much. If I had to guess, I'd say it's a, around a 4.5 after diamond cutting. So that's just the way it is, man. You know, um, if you want true to size ropes, you're probably going to have to get one that's not diamond cut. And some people prefer them that way. I, I don't know why. But uh, anyway, there it is. Close up. What am I doing? Let's see.